What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this distorted warp effect instead of after effects. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is row scope out our subject here. So I'm going to go up to the rotor brush here and select it and then just double click on your frame and then it'll open up a new layer and in this layer you just want to make a selection around your subject here and it's probably not going to look too good so you're going to want to go ahead and fix it up around the edges especially around the hair and the rest of the rotoscope looks pretty good here but as we go along frame by frame using the arrow keys it might mess up a little bit but it's doing a pretty good job so i'm just going to kind of skip through this pretty fast here all right so i just finished row scoping our subject so now i'm going to hit freeze right here and that's just going to freeze all of our frames so that the rotor brush doesn't like mess around when we're actually editing here so that just got done freezing so now what we're going to do is close out of that layer now we're in our main composition and let's just duplicate this layer two times so hit Control d twice or command d if you're on mac and on the bottom layer delete that rotor brush and then on the top layer i'm going to bring that feather to 10 and then on this middle layer here i'm going to add an effect called turbulent splice right here let's just bring that onto that clip and let's bring the size down to 40 and the amount to zero and i'm going to start the keyframe around 10 frames here so let's just go up to the amount and keyframe that as zero and then go to the very end and bring that up to 500 so now when we play this back, you can see that it's being displaced in the background right there. But I wanted to like scale up so we can actually see more of the turbulent display. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and just hit a keyframe on the scale. Go to the end once again and let's bring this up to like 300. And now you can really see the effect. Another effect I like to add to this is twirl. So I'm just going to bring on this twirl to that same clip once again. And let's make the twirl radius 100. And let's just have that start at the same keyframes that I've been having it start at. Let's keep the angle at zero for the first keyframe. And then at the very end, let's just mess with this. That you can see it looks super weird, but you just want to make sure that that last keyframe is at the very end. So now you can see it's like twirling around. But we want to go ahead and fix this because I don't like how it just like immediately just starts spinning super fast and scaling up. So we're going to actually easy ease these by selecting all of them and just hit F9 on your keyboard or you can right click it keyframe assistance and easy ease them. And we're going to start out on the top one here, the turbulent displace, select those, go into the graph and make a graph that looks something like this. Just a super simple graph like that. And we're just going to do that to all of them. Same graph like that for all of the effects that we just did. Now when we play this back, it more like speeds out. Now what I'm gonna add to this middle clip, once again, is glow. And I'm just gonna add the default glow built in. And let's just bring this threshold down to like 30 and the radius to 100. So now you can see we have some glow. I'm gonna bring the original colors to A and B colors so we can actually mess with them. So let's go to color A and I'm gonna use like a pink or a red, I guess, like that. And for the color B, I'm gonna do around the same color, but maybe a bit darker. So like this. And if the glow isn't strong enough, just go to the glow threshold and bring that to a lower value like that. Now I just realized when it scales up, you can see the edge of the clip here. And I don't really want that to be shown in the video. So I'm gonna go back into the scale properties here and go into that graph editor. And let's just mess with that graph until we get rid of that. So just bringing these up a little bit like this. That seems to solve our issue pretty well. And now it's a lot less noticeable. So it looks a lot better. And to kind of fix that a little bit more is we can add some motion blur. So I like to add radial blur. So let's just bring this onto that clip. Now you can see it's really hard to tell like if there's any edges or anything like that. Let's go into our keyframes once again. Hitting U brings up all the keyframes. So at the very start, let's bring this to zero and go to the end and bring that to 10. So now when we play that back, this motion blur. And these keyframes don't have to be so far apart. Like we can just select these and move them forward a little bit. And the closer they are, the faster the effect is gonna be. So if you guys want the effect to be like super fast, then obviously you guys wanna have them closer together. So I actually think I like it faster like that. So I'm just gonna keep them like that. But as you can see, the glow is just like all around the edges here and it just looks awful. So we wanna change that by hitting T on the keyboard and it brings up the opacity. And we can just bring that down to zero and just keyframe that as zero. And then once the effect starts to happen, I'm gonna bring that back up to 100 here. So let's just find where that effect starts to scale up like that. And there we go. Now we don't have any glow at the start. Now the last effect I'm going to add is called displacement map. And we're gonna bring this onto the very bottom layer. We're gonna change both of these values to zero. And at the start of your timeline, just hit a keyframe for that horizontal displacement or the vertical, whatever you guys wanna use. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the horizontal displacement. So we're gonna keyframe it at zero and then go to the very 
very end of our clip and let's just bring this up to around 300 or something like that so now you can see that displacement in the background but you get like these black edges so you want to go here to the warp pixels around and that just fixes that problem and this displacement doesn't have to start exactly at the start of the clip here we can actually have it start when the effect happens like that and once again we can easy ease these and mess with that graph again just more gradual and there you go that is how you create this distorted warp effect if you guys want more effects like this in the future where i don't use any plugins or anything like that make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you guys on the next video peace out